Welcome back to Starting a Business Simplified. In this episode, I would like to talk about navigating the holidays. In the previous episode, I did talk about some hacks for managing your calendar. In this episode, I am going to actually dive into more details around how it is that you can take time off as a business owner. One of the key things that I like to share when it comes to the holidays is to plan ahead. As a business owner, it's really important that you look at your calendar many, many months in advance and block off times that you plan on taking time off. Around the holidays is a great example because we know that these are specific times that we're going to want to take off to spend time with friends and family. So right now when this episode is airing, we are in November, right before the holidays. And in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving in this month. And then next month, we have Christmas and then New Year's. So there's a lot going on this time of year. And I always like to go into my calendar the prior year and look at what I want to block off 12 months in advance. Basically, I'm going to look at my holiday schedule for 2024 right now. And I'm going to look at it starting in January. So I'm going to see what holidays fall throughout the year of 2024, because we're in 2023 right now. And I'm going to block my calendar. I'm going to do that now. That way, nobody can schedule on those days. I see those days are blocked off when I look at my calendar in the future to plan for other things that I'll be doing. And it gives me time to actually plan what I need to accomplish in my business to take care of things while I'm out for my holiday time off. And it makes it stress-free. When you go into your calendar a year in advance and you block off the days that you want to take off, you never have to worry about not being able to take the time off. It gives you that freedom and that feeling of accomplishment that you know if you're going to take five days off around a holiday, the work that has to go in before you leave to go on that holiday. And by doing it so far in advance, you can actually put in your calendar. I'm going to use, let's use the 4th of July because that's a fun one. And it's summertime and vacations are happening. Kids are out of school. So it's January 2024. And I've already blocked off my time off for July. So around the 4th of July, let's say I'm going to take a week off. I've already blocked that whole week around the 4th of July. So this is going to come from the end of June through the 4th of July, and then whatever days I want to take off, maybe after the 4th of July. So I'm going to block off that week. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to look at my June calendar, and I'm going to decide. So I'm a podcaster, and I have episodes that I launch. So I'm going to make sure that all of my June and July episodes are pre-recorded and pre-scheduled so that I don't have to think about it. I'm going to make sure that any blog posts that I want written, any content that I want shared, everything that I need to have done while I'm away is going to be done ahead of time. That will allow me to be prepared and have everything set up for what I need while I'm out. The other thing that I will do is I'm going to go in and make sure that I meet with the people that I need to meet with at that time. If I have clients who are long-term clients and I know they're going to be with me in June and July, I will let them know ahead of time. Or you can put a note on your calendar, so at the beginning of June or the end of May, to contact my current clients and make them aware that I will be taking some time off around the 4th of July and make sure that they're scheduled around my time off, either before I leave or when I get back, to make sure that they know I'm thinking about them and that they're taken care of even though I'm going to be gone. The other thing that I will do is I will turn on a out of office for my email. This allows people to know that I'm not working during the time that I'm off. And this is something, again, that you can put a reminder in your calendar, put it in for June, the latter part of June, saying, okay, turn on your out-of-office email for your vacation 
for the 4th of July. That will remind me when I see my June calendar as I'm working throughout the year and I get to June, I'll see that reminder and then I'll know, okay, yes, I need to make sure and put that out of office on. It just allows for people that are emailing you and trying to contact you while you're away, they can actually see that you're gone. I have a Google email, so I can do that easily. Some of you out there have other email services, and I'm sure that they have an out of office. You just have to go into your settings and find it and just type in there and you put the date to turn it on, the date to turn it off. And you just put a message in there that says, I'm out on vacation. I'll be returning on X date and I'll reply to you as soon as I can when I return. This is a great way for you to notify people who are trying to reach out to you while you're gone that you're unavailable. And that's about it. It's really about pre-planning and really looking at your calendar and saying, I'm in charge. I can take off the time that I want to take off during the holidays and any other time of the year. This can be applied to any time that you want to take off that's significant. Anytime you want to block some time off on your calendar and go do whatever it is that you feel you want to do and have fun, you could have a staycation. You could just stay home. You can block your calendar and be prepared so that you can relax and enjoy your time off. So hopefully this was helpful. And I would say for those of you listening, the takeaway in this episode is to go look at your calendar right now for next year and block off the days that you want to be gone so that nobody can book on your calendar and then you can plan out what you need to accomplish to cover the time that you're gone. So I hope this was helpful. And as always, keep it simple.